fine examples of Irish familyhood. We'll be scrapping it out in a little while to see who will win a car. But as well as the family thing, we've also been looking around the country for other things. We've been looking for talented families, but we've also been looking for general talents. People with a party piece, people who have something to sing, to dance, to perform to. And where do these kind of talented people hang out? Shopping centres in the middle of the afternoon. That's where they always go, so that's where we went to find them. And this week, we went to Letterkenny. I'll do another for you if you want to. Oh, chicken lips and lizard hips and alligator rice. Monkeys legs and buzzard eggs and salad. <laughs> shopping centre there and some of the towns we found the day we spent up there. Now, I hope you're watching that very, very carefully, both families, both the O'Donoghue's and the Balons, because we will be asking a kind of a question, but that's all in a little while. First of all, I'm going to get Neve and Sean, and you're going to play a game with me over here. Give them a round of applause. Okay, that's the way the scores are at the moment. We're going to take a little trip back to Letter Kenny now at this stage. You'll remember we showed you some VT there of the best uh, that we saw. Some, and now we're going to find the best of the best. We also have a very, very special panel of select judges who will decide this. Like, I mean, these are entertainment professionals. They've been in the business for a long time. But we want to see, just kind of a reversal of the game we've just played, how well the kids know the parents' taste uh, in stuff. So, Neve and Sean, Eileen and Anne, if you could walk forward with me here. I want to have you standing here, right, with your backs to your folks, as we have a look at the top three acts from Letterkenny. Turn on the light. No. All the light. Come back here. Stand on that chair. Ooh, baby. <laughs> That's right. the best of the Letterkenny Shopping Centre. Now I have the youngsters from the family beside me here. Very, very simple question. Have you written down what you think is the best of those acts? I want you to write it down on a piece of paper. Equally, you don't know who's, I want you to write down what your nomination for the finest of those three acts. Then we're going to ask you to second guess your parents. If you get it right, you get 10 points. Okay, don't know who's, you're behind at the moment. We're going to go to you first. What do you think your parents would say? Act one, two or three. Um, the Full Monty. The Full Monty one. Do you think it has to be the Full Monty one? Yeah. Okay. What have you written down? I've only written down one. That'll be fine if you lift it up and show us what you've right. written down. Act one, the Full Monty. That's perfect. Okay, grand. You get ten points for that. Good stuff. Well done. Very good. <laughs> now, Balon, how well do you know their taste? Like, what do you think they'd have gone for? Choir. The choir. Ah, oh, the choir. How many syllables in that word? Uh, in Monaghan, the choir. Uh, right, okay, grand. They went for the choir. Balin, did you go for the choir? You went for the choir. Wow, very good. Another 10 points for you. 
So you both got the points there. Well done. Walk back to the families now, because there's a kind of a bonus point on that, and you pick different ones, so this should be interesting. As a bonus to that, we, as I said, organise a specialist panel of expert adjudicator to decide who was the best, best, best act. And this week, that specialist panel was the Letterkenny Shopping Centre Delhi Counter Assistance. How are you, man? How are you, lads? We are the Letterkenny Delhi Counter Assistants, and here are the results from Letterkenny. In third place, it's the Letterkenny Musical Drama Group with Sister Act. In second place, it's the Blue Ribbon Dance Company with O Mickey. And in first place, it's the Full Montes. Well done to the full Monty and Letter Kenny there, fine specimen of Donegal man uh, on show for all the nation. Okay.